Racket Lake Boys Club, 1957. These are from home movies taken by my father, Norman Rubin. My second summer at Racket Lake. And my brother's third summer at Racket Lake. Um, right now, you're looking at a scene of the waterfront. Uh, there were two docks, uh, there were two rafts, a B raft and a C raft. I believe the one that you can see in the picture now is the C raft for people who had done their C test. Um, of course, Racket being the big, beautiful lake it was, it is, uh, Swimming and water sports were an integral part of the camp program and probably the highlight of the camp program when the water wasn't too cold and uh, the uh, lake was not too choppy. Instruction was uh, provided, of course, and it was at Racket Lake that I learned how to swim. I was six years old, my first summer at camp, um, probably a not wise choice um, as a parent and a grandparent at this point that I'm narrating this movie, uh, but that's what we did. We took the train up to Racket Lake, it was an overnighter, uh, Pullman train, and uh, first time I went, of course I went with my uh, brother and I slept in the same compartment. This is my mother and my brother at the famous campfire site. Um, when I was six years old, they convinced me that they also had a, an Indian there. He was actually, uh, his name was Saul Resnikoff, who is not an Indian. But he looked like an Indian because he was very, very tan and he had a hooked nose. So he sort of looked like the Indian on the uh, nickel, you know, the buffalo nickel. Uh, there were also totem poles, which you saw, which um, Gordon Leibowitz, who was then the director of the camp, uh, used to tell the story of how Racket Lake got its name. Um, basically from the snowshoes left by uh, Iroquois Indians and or Iroquois Native Americans uh, and uh, that's how uh, Racket got its name. It, as you, uh, when my brother and I first uh, started at Racket Lake it was called the Racket Lake Boys Club and, and pretty much it was called Racket Lake Boys Club um, throughout uh, the time that I was a camper there. Um, here I am, uh, by the basket, sitting by the basketball court. Um, I was uh, in the Cub Pioneers, and uh, if you notice, the basketball court was uh, dirt at that time, and uh, the lines were put in uh, every day. Here I am, swimming. That's me, just came out of the water, waving and uh, demonstrating for my parents my uh, newly acquired underwater swimming skills. Anyway, it was called Racket Lake Boys Club because the idea was that this would be like a country club, uh, not like a country club, but a club uh, as opposed to a camp. The boys, it was Racket Lake Boys Club and Racket Lake Girls Club. This is my brother with his playing tennis with uh, his friend, uh, looks like they're playing doubles. Um, the person, the other person in the picture, other than my brother, is uh, Barry Byfeld, who's from Philadelphia.
order to get to the camp, of course, you needed to go on a boat, and this is the view from the antlers as my parents were coming to us on uh, visiting day. Um, and that's my brother greeting my mom. Wow, ah, that's me. Uh, mugging for the camera, I think. Haircuts um, happened uh, the third week of camp and the barbers were imported from uh, Utica, New York to uh, complete the task of uh, making everybody presentable uh, for their parents or whatever, but uh, it, was, it occurred on visiting day and uh, with my mom and my brother. And, uh, Ah, my friend Stewie Yesselson. Uh, and that's Uncle Fred. Uncle Fred and Aunt Esther took care of the uh, kids my age. And that's me again. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little snippet from Racket Lake in the past. And uh, it will give you some idea of the long history of, uh, of Racket Lake. Take care and be off. Well.